YouTube! How you guys doing? It's Mike, Pratt Family Homestead. Hey, I want to give you guys a quick uh, 2017 pig update. Uh, I've got the, the pig enclosure all built. I've got the little, I don't know how well you can see it in this lighting. It's really overcast out here this evening. Uh, but I'll give you a little bit closer look. Uh, but I got uh, three 50 inch cattle panels uh, bent over and I'm going to end up putting a tarp on. I haven't put the tarp on it yet. I'll probably put the tarp on early next week. But in a couple weeks here, we're going to start picking up pigs. And here's what we got. We got four uh, Old Spot Berkshire uh, mix that we're getting from uh, Chad T. Everson. I'll put that, um, I'll put his YouTube, I'll link his YouTube channel. And now the piglets are fighting over the food. Gonna lay down, you want We're getting two Magnalitzas from Mark at Baker's Green Acres. I'll link that channel. This group of pigs, though, is the same group of pigs that was on the garden. And then we had to, we were done in the garden. They've, they've hit every place. And so we moved them out onto another place for a short time. And then they're going to go in here. So there's 10 of them in here. And these guys have not been have not been castrated yet. So let's just try and show you this the best I can. You know what? I actually need another hand. Ah, there goes one. All right, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Let me turn this around. Uh, we're getting two red wattles and two Tamworth and uh, I'll link those Facebook pages as well in the description where I'm getting those but everything has come together and the stars have all aligned and we're getting our 10 pigs so of different breeds and what we're doing this year as I think I, I think I've explained before is uh, I can't remember exactly I know Jenny and I are gonna keep two pigs for ourselves to put in the freezer and that's going to be a Magnalitza and a, I forget what the other one is we're doing. I think we're keeping a red wattle. And then Jenny, then we're going to split a Tamworth between our parents. And then we're going to split uh, a red wattle. Her brother's going to take a red wattle. Uh, and so we're going to do a big pork chop swap. And the plan is, and then I'm selling others to coworkers. And we're also going to incorporate them into the pork chop swap if they elect to. Um, so... What's gonna happen is we're gonna we're gonna decide based on maybe flavor and and, and fat slash lard content and how that the, the the demeanor of that pig. We're gonna decide on a breed to start raising next year. Um, for some reason, I got my thoughts of what that's gonna be already, but I don't know yet. I, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. I'm super excited. Uh, these pigs all offer something a little different, so. We'll just have to see where all those cards plan out, or uh, where they fall. So I've got lots of footage from like the last month of working on this pen. So I'm going to show you guys all that stuff now. Uh, uh, and I may throw up some cards with some, um, or not cards, but some slides here with just a little bit of uh, the, some of the characteristics of some of these different pigs. But uh, I'm super excited. I still got the water put in here and the tarp on there and the two feeders in here. 
And I think, I think I'm set. I gotta walk the perimeter, make sure everything's still good, but um, I got electric out here and everything else. So hopefully we're good to go. I think, all right here, I'll show you guys this here real quick. Uh, well, there's a smaller area right here. You got the hut and over, that's a pretty small area. It's about uh, two hog panels worth. I think I'm gonna keep them confined in here, let them get used to the water for a little bit and all that, and, uh, and then start letting them uh, you'll see in other footage if you haven't already. I've got a, a relatively big area for them to uh, to spread out. So, um, as it is right now, we're going to be traveling on Sunday, the 14th, I believe it is of May, to go get some of these pigs. We're going to be traveling on Monday, the 15th, to get some of these pigs, and we're going to be traveling on Tuesday, the 16th, to get some of these pigs. Uh, the red. Oh wait, I gotta go check my emails. The, the red wattles won't be ready until the first couple weeks of June. So that'll be that. All right, uh, I'll give you a quick little rundown here real quick. So here's the, the cattle panel hut that I, that I put in. I probably have it a bit high. Uh, my buddy Dan at the grass-fed homestead recently put up a video where he built the same thing. We didn't even like... We didn't know each other was even doing it, tell you the truth. And um, I forget what YouTube channel he said his got inspired. But I'll link his video and you go watch it, all right? Um, and like his channel if you don't already. But uh, that's the grass-fed homestead. But he had originally built his pretty high, higher than mine. So he had the sides in a lot more and it made it higher. And it was super flimsy in the wind. His is a little different. He's got wood wood sides, which I love, and I might I might do that because it makes it portable. Mine's not portable. Mine's all uh, anchored down to T posts. Uh, this one is not flimsy, but I think it's because it's anchored to T posts. Anyways, his was pretty high, so then he lowered it. He lowered it quite a bit farther down than mine is, and I like it. And I, so I might next week. Uh, rip, tear a side off and move it out just a little bit more because I like that a lot lower because let's face it those pigs don't need a five foot ceiling in there right uh, and I could make a quite I could make quite a bit bigger area if I spread this out um, I do already have the tarp the tarp I have will be about I think I forget I forget um, maybe six inches short on each side uh, uh, coming this way and then it'll be missing just a little on the bottom but we're gonna fill this in with straw all that stuff and so I'm gonna go ahead and cut over to some footage I've already been taken of me putting it up and uh, that'll it's old footage so it'll probably be a little boring whatever but this whole area you can see over to there and here is what these pigs are getting this year and right there I gotta get it all plowed up but right there is gonna be pig garden Will we be able to grow enough in this little area to support 10 pigs? And No, but it will be some good supplemental stuff, turnips, beets. Uh, I, I, we, got a, we got a whole list of stuff we're going to put in here. So I'm super excited. We're going to start getting pigs in just about, what is that? About a week and a half, I think we're going to start getting pigs. Super excited. All right. So I may go ahead and cut over some footage of me getting this all put in. Uh, but as you can see, it's done. I got a little gate here. This um, this area right here, this is one hog panel that I have with uh, 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 D-rings. These are very cheap, flimsy D-rings. I will not be using these D-rings. But I want uh, at least one side of this to be able to come off real easy. This will be the gate in and out of here. All right. I, and I got a small gate on the back side. I could actually drive my tractor through there uh, it's going it, it's electric so you just drop the electric but all right guys i am super excited about some pigs all right guys uh i'm out here working on this pig pen again tonight get a little bit done here before dinner and possibly a little bit after dinner it's really windy out here again i'm sorry uh uh so if you didn't see the video i put up just a couple days ago i'll try to remember link it right there and i'm uh uh, just trying to get this done. I'm actually starting to get a couple line on some some lines on some pigs, which is awesome. Uh, a lot of that is a huge thanks to all you guys that saw that uh, the, the video that I was just talking about. Um, I got lots of great suggestions from you guys 
for some breeders and stuff and uh, some things some stars are starting to align but I don't want to say anything specific yet um, so yeah we'll just get this done or get this worked on today uh, the panels were taking me a little bit longer than I anticipated the other day and you know I always think a project's gonna take me one or two hours and it's really more like a four or five hour project so okay starting to rain I'm at the corner by the woods over here as you can see I've got all the panels up back behind me uh, I do have to finish securing them to each other and I do need to add some T posts I need to so then I came over here I didn't want to go get the T posts I want to stay out here keep working so I came over here and uh, I got this electric pretty well uh, uh, laid out and I just have to continue it down the line to that T-post and over uh, to probably right about there if you can see. Uh, I need to add some T-posts in here. Um, the ground is soaking wet right now and I'm very surprised how easy the T-posts are coming up. And uh, as far as the electric goes, I'm not super concerned about it because last year with the pigs, that was our first experience with electric. They touched that electric, they wanted nothing to do with it. They, they weren't trying to lift up nothing. <laughs> So that's the plan. It's raining pretty good out here now. Kids are running in from the woods. Well, I guess they stopped running right there. Kids, you getting wet? What? You getting wet? Yeah. <laughs> All right, nothing wrong with a little rain. So here we are back in this area. And I don't know if you can see or not, but these panels are they're getting done. I mean, there's not a whole lot I'm going to do in here. I might try planting some green stuff in this area for them but I'm kind of worried about it even having a chance to come up before they're destroying it I don't know and then also I got to thinking I think so this is the corner of the L right here uh, it goes up there and then it goes out you can see right there uh, maybe adding some paddocks in here after uh, maybe adding some paddocks in here uh, like uh, extend it over to here and here and maybe over there but after I get at least one hay cut in um, one good hay cut in I kind of screwed all that up last year so after I get one good hay cut in and I, and I think I'm on track for the goats having enough hay for the uh, uh, winter I may open up some paddocks in here and maybe even extend them all the way out because as you remember out by the tree line I can't cut hay for nothing out there and then worry on like a second third cutting just over here where it cuts real good i don't know it's just all thoughts no idea it's always going around in my head all right just uh just a ridiculous amount of wet weather lately and all winter really or we didn't get a ton of snow again this year but uh, lots of rain and stuff but i don't know if you can see this area real good some pigs are gonna love this all right uh so for these uh isolators or whatever you want to call them, i did it at one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11. That closely resembles what I had last year. So I didn't measure it. I didn't. I know there's a, supposed to be whatever it was. I forget. 6, 6, 12, 18 inches or something. But uh, this is what I'm doing. And I had, like I said, I didn't really have any problems last year. So this isn't exactly the spacing as last year, but it's pretty close. And I feel a lot more comfortable with four wires than three. And I would probably feel a lot more comfortable with five wires. <laughs> Thank you. 
and I've been out here for quite a while. It's coming together, all the wires ran. Everything's done. I'm gonna put a ratchet, uh, I don't know what those things are called, but I'm gonna tighten this uh, fence up. I've asked the boys to go get me some uh, more of these uh, line stakes, the white ones. So they loaded up the, hey TJ, TJ, that side. So yeah, I asked them to get me some, some more of those line stakes. Okay, show me brother. For some reason, I come out asking for help and we get, we get javelin throwers. Come on, get a stick in there, brother. Act like it's a rattlesnake. Faith, Faith, act like there's a super scary monster on the ground and throw it super hard at the scary monster. Faith, that was a little dainty. Come on, act like something's about to really hurt you bad and you gotta stop it. Come on, throw that thing into the ground like you're throwing a baseball as far as you can. Faith, that was pretty good, it stuck. But you're not acting like you're scared to death or nothing. Come on, let's see it. All right. Faith always wanted to help. The boys always wanted to help. They were helping too. I had them get me some stuff, but uh, they wanted to go back playing ball. So get these uh, spaced out, Faith. Where? In between these two green posts. I think two will be enough, but we might as well put three in. That's not bad. When you go get them, I would move them all this way a little bit. Okay, all right, let's get these in. All right, a lot of work done today. I know it's windy, sorry. Uh, I've only got a couple more T-posts to secure on panels. All the wiring for the electric is done. Uh, Faith, got a kick out of helping that with that a little bit today. Uh, let's see. So I got a couple panels still to secure. They're all up and in place. I think I have to double check. I think all T posts are in place. I think we are looking at just needing a eh, some pigs and a pig hut put up. Look at this area right here. Tell me some pigs are not gonna love that. Holy cow. All right. Little pig hut I got started on yesterday after we got the panels before TJ's birthday party. Um, I need secured. I need to make it a little more symmetrical and all that. But basically, all I have is the two panels. These two panels tied together. Oh man, might have to cut this part out here. Hold on. Let this gust go by. It doesn't appear to be stopping. Huh. Does not appear to be stopping. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe the wind's not stopping. Alright, I got the I got the last panel on. So it's three cattle panels deep so that'd be 150 inches and uh, I don't know how much I got it bent I don't know how much room there is there but uh, kind of looking at it I think it's a big area but 10 pigs when they get bigger I might have to add one or make a second shelter second shelter wouldn't be bad but I might have to add one panel we'll just see how they fit in there as they grow and if they start outgrowing this then I'll get it i still don't have it secured so it's not symmetrical yet i don't know if it might work i don't know if it really will be symmetrical but um uh so that's that so i think i can get this secured and like i talked about symmetrical and that's that i'm getting pumped up about getting pigs all right